Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I am Dr. Bhumika and here is what I bring to you from the world of medicine. WHO pre-qualifies the first vaccine against Mpox. The World Health Organization has announced the MVABN vaccine as the first vaccine against Mpox to be added to its pre-qualification list. The first pre-qualification of a vaccine against Mpox is an important step in our fight against the disease, both in the context of the current outbreaks in Africa and in future, said WHO Director General Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus. We now need urgent scale-up in procurement, donations and rollout to ensure equitable access to vaccines where they are needed most, alongside other public health tools to prevent infections, stop transmission and save lives. The MVABN vaccine can be administered in people over 18 years of age as a two-dose injection given four weeks apart. After prior cold storage, the vaccine can be kept at 2 to 8 degrees centigrade for up to eight weeks. The WHO pre-qualification of the MVABN vaccine will help accelerate ongoing procurement of the Mpox vaccine by governments and international agencies such as Gavi and UNICEF to help communities on the front line of the ongoing emergency in Africa and beyond, said Dr. Yukiko Nakatani, WHO Assistant Director General for Access to Medicines and Health Products. The decision can also help national regulatory authorities to fast-track approvals, ultimately increasing access to quality-assured Mpox vaccine products. The WHO Strategic Advisory Group of Experts on Immunization reviewed all available evidence and the use of MVABN vaccine in the context of an Mpox outbreak for personal persons at high risk of exposure. While MVABN is currently not licensed for persons under 18 years of age, this vaccine may be used off-label in infants, children and adolescents, and in pregnant and immunocompromised people. This means vaccine use is recommended in outbreak settings where the benefits of vaccination outweigh the potential risks. WHO also recommends single-dose use in supply-constrained outbreak situations. WHO emphasizes the need to collect further data on vaccine safety and effectiveness in these circumstances. Available data shows that a single-dose MVBA vaccine given before exposure has an estimated 76% effectiveness in protecting people against Mpox, with the two-dose schedule achieving an estimated 82% effectiveness. Vaccination after exposure is less effective than pre-exposure vaccination. Good safety profile and vaccine performance has been consistently demonstrated in clinical studies as well as in real-world use during the ongoing label outbreak since 2022. In light of the changing epidemiology and emergence of new virus strains, it remains important to collect as much data as possible on vaccine safety and effectiveness in different contexts. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.